Hello, 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 and welcome to another exciting edition of DYCA TV with me, Callum Craig, and me, Mara Mia. You think you actually can win sports there? Uh, I believe we have a very good chance. Whittle House are determined to defend their title, and I've seen a lot of Whittle winners. Everybody's giving it a go. Our fresher boys team is just about to run out on the relay. They're all joining in. It's been an absolute team event this year. So great. Excellent because we had, I, I hit my hand by accident with it. Then all of a sudden I just passed it to him. Then he just flew round. It's just excellent because we worked as a team and won. Your fire king tonight is Paul Driffield. Oh, my name's Chase and I'm sports captain for Little. Hello, uh, my name's Aaron and I'm sports captain for Hopper. They were nerve-wracking because it's a big school and it's a bit big for me. And hopefully uh, Russell Group University. Um, like I've, I think I've got the, a good enough grades to still apply to Cambridge and Oxford anyway, so I'm hoping. Well, my role in the academy is accessing young people to playing sport as a tool which we can use to influence change of behaviour. Our staff and students have been working tirelessly on a new school production, FAME. What subjects have you chosen in the options for us? I've chosen geography and history and art and ICT. It's a very exciting process. Um, it's very exciting for the prep students because it's the start of their career, their futures. It's a very important process. Next year, I might take a gap year and find an apprenticeship in London. A completely positive experience coming up to Limewood. Uh, it's a slightly more relaxed atmosphere. Our students seem to be working very hard. Uh, it's a great place to be. The thing I'm going to miss the most is spending lunchtime with my friends. I miss my friends pieces, even though I fell out with our home. Modern icon, inspiration to millions of people around the world, a Nobel Prize winner, a symbol of hope. Just a few titles given to Nelson Mandela or Mandiba, his tribe name. Francis Crick and James Watson discovered the double helix structure of DNA. In 1953, changing our understanding of how living things pass on genetic information to the next generation. Yeah, so earthquakes are basically when two um, plates collide. Egypt is a transcontinental country. Most of it lies in North Africa, but also stretches into Asia to the north. We must use time wisely and forever realise that the time is always ripe to do right. Well said, and very true. And the ancient Greek philosopher, Plato, once said, the beginning is the most important part of the work. A bird that you set free may be caught again, but a word that escapes your lips will not return. This means that anything you say, good or bad, can never be taken back, so think carefully before you speak. Destiny is not a matter of chance, it is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited it is a thing to be achieved. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. The mind is everything. What we think, we become. Buddha. So remember, if we want to make our dreams a reality, we have to be ready to tackle any hurdle that comes our way with persistence, perseverance and determination. Take up one idea. Make that one idea your life. Think of it, dream of it, live on that idea. Let the brain, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success. Swami Vivekandi. A lovely quote from the Hindu monk. The Christian festival of Corpus Christi for the Catholic Church took place on Sunday the 2nd of June. Corpus Christi is Latin for the body of Christ. And during this festival, Catholics proclaim the truth of the transformation of bread and wine into the actual body of Christ during Mass. On September the 4th, Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, was celebrated by people across the globe. In this blessed month of March, Christians have entered the beautiful season of Lent. Next Tuesday, April the 23rd, is St George's Day. 
Although little is known about St. George, he is thought to be born in Greece in around 275 AD. The Theravada New Year Festival, which is celebrated by Theravada Buddhists who originate from Thailand, Burma, Sri Lanka, Cambodia and Laos. Pentecost is another Christian festival that celebrates the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is celebrated on Sunday, 50 days after Easter. If you were anywhere near Chapel Town last weekend, you will know that it was the annual West Indian Carnival. Edward Snowden was an analyst for American Intelligence who leaked details about secret data gathering across the globe. Central Europe has suffered some of the worst flooding to be experienced for decades. Egypt is in the middle of a crisis that could see the country to descend in a civil war. This week, comet pan stars become visible on our side of the planet, but the real excitement is about comet Ison, which will be paying us a visit in November. Some astronomers have predicted that it will be so bright that it will be visible in broad daylight. China suffered a massive earthquake which measured a magnitude of 7.9. At least 156 people lost their lives and more than 5,500 people were injured in the disaster. A new privately funded campaign is on, on to launch a manned mission to fly by Mars in 2018. Well, I know I wouldn't want to be stuck with a man for 501 days. Can you imagine how annoying it would be? I know, all the bickering. And remember, if you want to succeed in life, you need to be persistent, persevere and be determined. Good luck to all the students leaving us. We wish all the best for the future. Goodbye. Goodbye.